Where are we at, Johnny? White Rock Mountain, bro. White Rock Mountain. We made it up here. We are adventuring. We're going to check out a couple spots here. Johnny's been telling me about this place. I'm really excited to see it. And uh, I've got this white spot on my lens right here, which is going to be really annoying because I can't get it out. <laughs> I need air. Air compressor is supposed Desert to blow that out. That. Yeah. This is from the desert. Yeah. Um, but it, whatever. Got to get that sand out of there. But anyway, White Rock White, White Rock, Rock Mountain. Mountain. We are here, we're exploring, we're gonna check it out and see if there's anything absolutely amazing that we cannot live without and shoot without. So, uh -huh. here we go. Unfortunately, we have punctured the tire on the way up. You can hear it leaking right there. I must have got into something. All right, Mr. Prepared, what did you do? Make sure I had my cell phone in case I needed to call Bobby to come save our butts. <laughs> Mr. Prepared over here left the key for the locking bolt sitting on the table at his house. So, we got a flat tire, but we can't change it. All right, who's coming to save us? My son. There we go. Sean's coming up to save us. He's going to bring us the lug key, but we're going to walk Meanwhile, around. we're going to go explore White Rock Mountain like we come here to do. fog that whole thing out and light it you know what i mean like this if you had like a leaf blower uh, uh you know to get this fog built right in there and then a leaf blower to make it roll like right exactly standing there mm -hmm. that would be cool that would be cool but good luck but well, we need a model a leaf blower a smoke machine and then we'd have to carry it all down here that's the thing yeah, yeah. this is one of those i have a shot we have to do and the whole crew <laughs> works on the wall. exactly we found a really cool spot but Again, not an easy one to get to. No, but it's a pretty good hike. Not an easy one to get to and uh, would take a lot to make something happen in here. Now this would actually be a good spot for real fire torches. Went to White Rock, it's a right. beautiful spot. However, we also checked out Natural Dam on the way back. And personally, I think Natural Dam is gonna be better for me tonight to shoot because of the reflective ponds. So that's the plan. However, one thing I do wanna talk about that we may do in the future is a light painting meetup or possible workshop of some sort at White Rock. They've got a big lodge there where it sleeps 16 people. They got a couple cabins. It's a great place. And there is a solar eclipse coming up. When is it? Uh, April 8th, 2024. April 8th, 2024. Which is Monday by chance. So what my thoughts were and what we talked about was how about doing a Friday, Saturday, Sunday night meetup. Everybody can wrap up. Sunday night, Monday morning, the eclipse is at 11.42, if I'm not mistaken, uh, current time, local time. So, I mean, it's an hour away from zero totality. We'll be sitting at 99% if everybody wants to just kind of hang around on that mountain overlook. That'd be kind of cool. Mm -hmm. But for those that want to be at, at center totality, they said it's about an hour, I guess, from up on the mountain, about an hour and a half. Right. So that's something we're thinking about doing, a light painting meetup, workshop type of event. If that's something you guys might be interested in, put it down in the comment section below and let us know. If we get enough interest in doing this meetup and or workshop type event, 
for the solar eclipse, which will be 99% totality at White Rock in April 2024, let us know. Comment section down below. As of tonight, we're going to be shooting at Natural Dam because of the water and the water reflections. I want to personally do, hot. and it's hot, and hopefully we can go swimming uh, prior to shooting, but... A lot of people there right now, so we're not going to hang out there. We're going to go back to the house, get gear, get set up, get relaxed, and get some ideas. And then take those back there and go shoot tonight at Natural Dam. Get some water reflection light writing. That is the plan, and we'll see what else we come up with. Here we go. Can you see them guys back there? Probably not. We are here at Natural Dam in Natural Dam, Arkansas. We got Bobby. Say hi, Bobby. Hey. We got Johnny. Are you? Hey, Johnny. <laughs> this is where we're shooting. Natural dam. We're not really on the dam. We're back here on this little reflective pond to do some light writing. There we go. Now we're talking. So we got this little pond here. We're going to do some light writing down in there using the diamond plexiglass universal connector, soon fire DS30 flashlight. We're going to do the light writing. Then we're going to do a light ghost. Uh, with some little circles that's going to be the light ghost going to be made with the light whip well, I'll show you exactly what we're doing when we're doing that, but um, We're losing blue hours. So I'm gonna go ahead and shoot this real quick settings ISO 100 f 16 uh, Shooting on bulb mode just gonna do a quick light writing this one is gonna say escape Change of plan using the gold opaque light writer with the red screw on color filter. Universal connector, Zoom Fire DS30 flashlight. Bye. what I've done to your serpent blade? Well, I love the fact that it's used and well freaking used. <laughs> I've destroyed but that do you thing. not believe in polish? <laughs> God, man. <laughs> My poor blade. I've created a couple. I created a light writing, a light ghost, and one of my trees here in this little reflective pond. Creating the tree gave me the idea of the Adam and Eve thing because Johnny creates his serpent with the serpent blade i know a lot of people have used that thing in different ways amazing creative ways and it's awesome to see but the original intent for that was johnny to create a serpent, a serpent. <laughs> so that's why it's called the serpent blade so johnny's going to create one of his serpents with the serpent blade and i'm going to create the tree uh and put a red lens flare in the tree as an apple for like the adam and eve tree with the serpent and that's what we're going for. We're gonna do it here. I can't convince him to get in the water, so we're gonna do it not where there's a reflection. Actually, you may still get, you'll get the reflection tree. Let's move the tree we'll back. We'll just move the tree back. All right, yeah. we're gonna move the tree back. I'm gonna do the reflection in the tree, and he's gonna do the serpent kind of in the background. So that's what we're going for. I think that's the one right there. Oh 
yeah. Yours, yeah, yeah. No, but yours, that's the one. Right? I like it. All right, that's the one, gentlemen. Ooh, wow. Looks good. We got it. Yeah. That's going to do it for me here in Natural Dam, Arkansas. Leaving tomorrow, headed to my aunt and uncle's house. Thank you very much, Johnny, for a wonderful host. And it's been enjoyed, enjoyed to have you, bud. Yeah, it's been great here. Guys, the, I'm really excited to share that technique, Johnny's steel wool technique. He's got a bunch of stuff that he hides from the world, but creative genius over here. Bobby, awesome photographer, great guy all around. Thank you very much for hanging out with us. And always a pleasure. Thank you, thank you very much. So if you have any questions or comments, put them down in the comment section. Uh, if you like the video, give us a thumbs up down below. And if you haven't subscribed, hit the subscribe button. Until the next video, be creative. Get out there and get creative. Well, I think it might now. <laughs>